In this video, I'm going to break down how I recreated Kraftwerk's radioactivity using iPad synths alone. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Siphon. I'm a musician and iPad content creator. So let's dive into Cubasis 3 and see how radioactivity was built on iPad. So you'll see on this project file, we've got 14 total tracks, five that are drums. Then we've got the two vocal tracks and then everything else. So the track begins with Morse code and a very echoey bass drum. So it sounds something like this. And again, this wasn't sampled. This was going using Synthmaster 2. Against that, we've also got a, a kick drum. We've got a delay and there's a, a compressor on there as well. So, so with that delay, it just makes a very sort of atmospheric sound on top of that. The next thing that comes in is the vocoder. Go on to this. So that is me singing into the microphone and putting vocoding app, which will be matrix vocoder. Looking at how I've done the project on here, I recorded all that in AUM and then just brought the audio file in. There's, there's no vocoder in the insert effects here. The, the way the song works is you get a vocoded section, then a clean vocal section. So similarly, I've, I've sung the clean vocals in on a separate track just so I can get the, the volume levels right. It's in the air for you and me. And that sounds pretty horrible, to be perfectly honest, but within the mix, it all works. So that's the joy of this. In order to get the famous keyboard riff, which is... I've actually used Model 15 on this. You've got the, the A minor bit. You've got the F major. And then you get it in C major as well. That's just got a, a little bit of shimmer on there just to enhance the, the top end of the sound there. As well as the very delayed kick drum, I've got a kick drum with a, a flanger. Then throughout the actual main part of the song, the kick drum is a clean sound. And again, I've just used a compressor and, bl and black hole just to give it a little bit more space. If we compare these three sections of drums, we've got the echoey kick. That flanger section just acts as a build. And then when we get into the main track, it's just a simple kick drum. There's nothing very exciting there. So the actual drums in the main track itself are essentially a kick and like a, a tambourine sort of sound. So we are go and then we build in a snare we bring that flanger in again so it's a it's a very very simple rhythm section we need to now talk about some of the sound effects now there's a lot of atmosphere within the track and there's a couple of different apps which are very useful for that sort of thing uh, one of which is uh, uh, Sugarbytes Aperillo. Just one sound I've used throughout. So that's just a low sort of rumble sound. It's got it's got black hole on as well, just to make it bigger and, and, and better. Let's talk about the bass. So I've got two I've got two bass synths working here, both being Synth Master Two. We've got one which is a stabby bass. So there's no effects on this one. It's just a really dry bass. And that's, that plays throughout the whole main part of the song. And then we add in a, an octave bass. So that just gives, it's, it's quite odd actually. It's, rather than it being feeling like two different things, it, it's more an effect on the actual sound itself. So it makes the bass sort of seem to shimmer around a bit more rather than it sounding like multiple things going on. I think the only bit we haven't really spoken about here is the two pad sections, which uh, I've got from Mood Units. A lot of the sounds with, within this are actually quite low. So this is something that sits right above on the top. We've got 
a very high pad which sings out in between the vocoded line and the, the clean vocal line. And then there's a, a lower pad which links in in between. So that, those two sound something a bit like this. And that's the lower one. So again, these have just got the baked in effects which are within the mood unit sound themselves. Those are all the parts. So what we can do is pull it all together and hear how it sounds. So, echoey kick drum and uh, synth morse code. Our vocoder. flanged kick drum and our noise effects. Our clean rhythm section started now. So bass section's running and our key section's running. We've got all of our drums now working. So up. Noise effect again. Bring in our high string, our high pads. The low pads. We now bring in both vocal sections. First the vocoder. Clean vocal. And that's really how the whole track runs. I'll put a link into the description with the, the final track. So I hope you found that useful and interesting. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments section below and I will certainly try and answer them. As always, if you've liked the video, there's a button for that sort of thing. And subscribe if you want for more content like this and other random synthesizer stuff. And until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Take care now.